little scared, not a one prepared, beauty and the beast. I think that I did it really just for the fun of it and because I thought my grandchildren would enjoy it. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? It's a guest, it's a guest. Thanks a lot, but I'll be blessed. Angela Lansbury brought the iconic Mrs. Potts to life and the star behind the voice of Belle, Paige O'Hara. Little town, it's a quiet village. Every day, like the one before. What is the line of your characters that you get requested or said back to you the most? Oh gosh, without a doubt. Gaston, you're positively primeval. Gaston, you are positively primeval. Only E.T. got Paige, Richard White, who played Gaston, and Robbie Benson, the voice of the Beast, back together for a reunion. Robbie, I don't know if you've heard this before, but Lawrence Fishburne, Val Kilmer, and Mandy Patinkin all considered for role of Beast, but you beat them out. There was a, a long line of people who auditioned for the part, but uh, yeah, I, I guess I got lucky. Bella? Are you happy here with me? Bell. Are you happy here with me? Oh. <laughs> and 30 years later, it was thrilling hearing Paige bring Belle back to life. There's something sweet and almost kind. But he was mean and he was coarse and unrefined. Now he's dear and so unsure. I wonder why I didn't see it there before. That was beautiful. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. Paige Bell has some iconic outfits, the big yellow dress, the blue apron <laughs> dress. Did you have any input on Bell's wardrobe? I, I did not, but I loved it. <laughs> uh, I was secretly kind of excited about the green dress, as green's my favorite color. And that one, nobody talks about that one, but that one moment when she's, when the beast opens her eyes in the library to give her the library is actually one of the most incredible moments, I think, in the whole movie. Oh, thank you so much. Beauty and the Beast was the first and only animated film ever nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. Here in town there's only she who is beautiful as me. This was going to last for the ages, and, and I, I felt that very strongly at the time. Tell us all that's done. And for the film's end credits, a 23-year-old Celine Dion and Peebo Bryson sang the theme song. It became a top 10 hit and won them a Grammy. It's an honor. Um, this song gave me a name in a way. I'm still singing that song on stage. Beauty and the 